Philadelphia Union, San Jose, or DC, Los Angeles, Galaxy. Beach Pass. Colorado Rapids. Vancouver Whitecaps. Seattle Sounders. Montreal Impact. Touch USA. New York Red Bulls. Pitch Pass. Your all access credential to the people that matter in MLS. Here's your host, Greg Roach. Hello, welcome to this bonus edition of Pitch Pass. PitchPass.com if you want to follow the show. Also at Pitch Pass to follow us on Twitter with the season right around the corner. We figured we'd give you a little extra content this week. Before we get to that, I got to thank Kyle Sheldon behind the scenes, just making things happen all week. And also Mark McClure for doing all the technical stuff, getting it going. Now that everybody's been thanked, let's go back down to Orlando. And an interesting perspective as far as the conversations are concerned with Philadelphia Union's Shannon Williams. So without further ado, let's go back in time to the final day of Disney's Pro Soccer Classic with Philadelphia Union's Shannon Williams. So this is interesting, Shannon. We're actually watching your team play while we have this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not where you want to be, obviously. You probably want to be out there uh, as we watch the Union take on Montreal Impact. Where are you right now in your fitness? How are you feeling? Uh, you know, I was getting getting fit, uh, like all the guys in preseason, getting getting good games, unfortunately. Picked up a little bit of injury and a uh, little bit of a setback, but hopefully we can... Uh, get it healed up and, and move forward so where what, what did you injure and and how long you feel like you're you're out for uh injured my quad uh i haven't gotten a timeline yet but uh seems to be uh getting a little bit better each day so uh hoping for for speed recovery well i don't want to put any pressure on you but we got a week yeah i know it's, <laughs> it's uh, go time in a week it's definitely you know not the not the best time to get injured at the end of the preseason so uh hopefully uh the trainers can work their magic and, and get me healed up and there's never an ideal time to, to pick up a knock, but I would imagine, tell me if I'm wrong, this this preseason is, is probably the worst time just because of all the new faces and wanting to get on the same page with everybody. Yeah, and I think we were starting to do that, and you can see uh, as we're watching this game, we, we've looked at probably our best out of all the games that we've played, so uh, obviously it's going to take time, but I think we've had a good preseason, and uh, you know we're definitely looking forward to the season ahead. Where were you when you found out that uh, the Union had acquired Austin Berry? Uh, we were here in, in camp, and and we were all excited to have him on board. Uh, Unexpected, obviously. correct? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I definitely think that, you know, they were looking but uh, didn't know who. And uh, Austin's a good player. Uh, he's got a ton of potential. He's only in his going into his third year, and obviously he was rookie of the year his first year, and a guy that has uh, a bunch of games under his belt, so I, I'm sure he'll do well for us. So, since I got you in this situation, let me pick your brain while we look at what's going on. What are you looking at? I know, obviously, you're not watching as a casual fan, so what are some of the things that you're looking at as you watch your team play? Yeah, obviously, with uh, a lot of new guys trying to pick up their tendencies and what they like and um, trying to get on board with with what we're trying to do as a team uh, moving forward into the season. So, uh, always trying to, to figure figure out our own guys and and without them telling me, try to pick up what they like and what they don't like. And how about on the other side? Is it is it a good situation for you to be able to see, you know, the guys you may be going up against uh, as the impact play as you as right up close like this? Yeah, absolutely. We've played uh, played. This is our third team against you know an Eastern Conference opponent, and those are the guys that we have to play most in the season. So it's nice to get a look at those guys and 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 see what what they have going into their season. Um, but uh, most of all, you're kind of just worried about yourself and what and what your team's doing, and just making sure Hack sees you that you're here yeah, doing what you need to do. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, definitely, just want to worry about you know what your team is doing in preseason and making sure that that you guys are doing the right things and the rush should come. It feels like the union, and I'm a Philadelphia native, so I, I my friends back home obviously are supporters of the club, and it feels like the union every year have had this kind of expectation on them the expansion then the acquisitions as we get into season two and season three but i feel like this year even more there are some high expectations for the team with the people you guys have brought in do you guys feel that uh yeah i mean we put that pressure on ourselves um you know all our guys want to make the playoffs you know we've we've tasted some success with making the playoffs and we want to be back there again uh you know two long years with mm -hmm. without making the playoffs and then you know obviously the coaching staff's done done a lot um to, to get back to where we want to be so you know we're last year we were right there not too far off and and this year we're hoping to go get over the hump and and get back to to challenging for for championships are congratulations in order for you 
Uh, Let's see if you know what I'm congratulating you for. I I do not. Something happened at the end of last year, the very tail end. Um, I got married. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's let 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 hear her hear that and that you uh, <laughs> wait. What happened to me? So you got at married New Year's Eve. Yep, New Year's Eve. Uh, did you pick that day? Did you or did you have input on picking that day? Yeah, we both kind of picked it together. We figured uh, a bunch of these guys spend enough money going out, so we might as well uh, pay for everybody to to have a, a good time with us uh, on our special day. And we had a we had a good time. So you did it in Philly. Yep, uh, a little bit outside um, in Bernathan, mm-hmm. and uh, you know we figured uh, at least this way it'd be easy for me not to not to forget the anniversary. <laughs> it's New Year's Eve. Oh, it's my anniversary. Yeah, exactly. That's interesting because I would figure and I would have guessed that you would have gone away. Like most times, people do a New Year's Eve uh, wedding day. It's like a destination type thing, but you stayed close to home. Yeah, uh, you know my family's from Boston, so, and and uh, my mom and stuff lives in North Carolina, so. It was kind of a, a central, central location, there. and then uh, she's actually from uh, outside of Philly, so uh, her family is obviously all there. So, and it just it just made sense for us to do it there, and you know we wanted a bunch of people to come. You know, sometimes when you do the destination stuff, yep. it's you don't hard get for as many. Get yeah. You know, you don't get as many people. So uh, we had uh, we had probably a hundred and ten people, probably That's a little bit crap. more, and uh, had a good time. Now. Does everybody have to give up their New Year's Eve to hang out with you guys, or did you guys break up the party at like six o'clock so if somebody wanted to go somewhere else they could? No, I mean you're they're with you. There it's was, a Williams New Year's. It was it was the off season, so uh, everybody was allowed to to indulge and drink. So uh, you know, I I hope that they had a good time and we tried to <laughs> we tried to throw as much of a, a party as a as they were going to get anywhere else. I always worry on New Year's Eve because everything's way overpriced. So it's good to know that you have plans locked in. So I would actually have thanked you for yeah. making taking any kind of expectations off the table. I know where I'm going. I'm seeing my boy get married. Yeah, exactly. And it, it was free, so I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I saved. They didn't complain about that either. I'm sure I saved a bunch of guys a lot of money. So, so are you are you and your wife currently living in Philly? Are you guys just outside of Philly? Yeah, we live right outside of Philly. We live in uh, in Havertown. Okay. Uh, with our our two year old, so uh, we're happy there and. Uh, have a nice place so nothing to complain about i uh i saw a picture of your your girl and as a biracial child i will tell you <laughs> biracial child are the most beautiful people in the world <laughs> so you've got uh, a lot of problems ahead with yeah, a daughter like that i'm sure have you been able to take the guys because there's a lot of new guys have you been take able to take the guys out and show them some of the things to do in philly uh, no, nah, nah, we haven't been in Philly too much. We were obviously there for the first week or whatnot, but uh, I know now that when we get back, we'll be uh, we'll be getting together as a, as a team and, and hanging out more. So uh, some of the new guys, I'm sure, have already found some spots that they like, and uh, I'm sure the older guys that have been there can uh, show them a couple more. Well, I hate to tell you, you are one of the elder statements on the team as far as, as tenure is concerned. You're, you're one of the older guys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Going into to my fifth year, so uh, it's it's gone by quick. Yeah, totally. And um, as I look at the team playing, who has stuck out to you as far as the new guys that you are excited to get out there and see perform in the league? Uh, I think uh, I'm excited to see everybody. I'm obviously excited about Maurice. And All right, well, let me ask you this. Who do you think everyone else, like as, as, the, as people and teams and other supporters of other teams start seeing the union, who will they go, oh, man, uh-oh, it's uh, scary that he's on the team that I'm going up against today? I don't, I don't know. I think, I think uh, Jack's going to be scary again. Obviously, he's already scored today. Mm-hmm. and had a couple other chances to score and I think he'll he'll uh, pick up where he left off and uh, you know obviously we've uh, got some new pieces to our midfield that'll that'll definitely help us um, going through a long MLS season so I think uh, I think we have some good pieces and uh, you know I'm happy to to call these guys teammates and and get ready for uh, a good season hopefully. Well, I thank you for watching a little bit of the match with me and yeah. uh, appreciate you coming on. Uh, tell Danny Cruz that Roach from DC 101 said hello. Okay, and, uh, I will, and, for sure. Uh, good luck getting yourself healthy and uh, have a great season. Thank you. I appreciate it.
more show information, go to pitchpass.com.